Hi guys, it's Data Cartman here. Thanks for um, choosing to view my latest video and thank you for all the views on my current videos. I'm down at my local syndicate today, Chase Lakes in Dagenham, just doing a day session. It's a bit cold, but I'm hoping to get you know, a few bites or land, land the odd carp. I uh, just had a comment on one of my videos on how, how to make a rig, basically, on the rigs that I use, like a tutorial as such, and the components that I use in making my rigs. I'm gonna show you today um, a very basic rig that I've used for years. It's um, a bottom rig. So I'm going to show you and explain on the components that I'm using as I go through. So first of all, choose your chosen braid or your chosen hook link. I use Sharp Tackle. A lot of my end tackle is from Sharp Tackle. And you can view their ranges on sharptackle.co.uk. Never had a problem with any of their end tackle as, as of yet. So the first thing you do is say choose your your piece of braid or your hook link. The length depends on yourself and the, the lake that you're fishing. So I'm just going to do a standard six or seven inch um, hair rig today and that's what I use a lot. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make a loop first of all. So just a, an overhand, overhand loop and this is going to be your hair. This is where your boiling or your chosen hook bait is going to go. Uh, once again, the length depends on the bait that you use. If you're using a 20mm or an 18mm boilie, you're going to need a bigger hair loop. If you're going to use a snowman, again, you're going to need a, a bigger loop. But I'm just going to do it a standard size loop for 16mm boilie. That's what I'm fishing with today. So an overhand loop, a bit of sliver, and a very important bit of kit is a decent knot puller. And just pull that really tight. pair of decent braid scissors, cut off the, the loose end. Normally what I do as well guys, it's a bit windy at the moment, I normally just burn that, I burn the end and blob it down, just gives you that extra bit of security. So the next thing you do, as you can see you've got your loop, choose yourself your chosen hook, again I use sharp tackle hooks, I'm using a size 8 today. So when you get your hook, guys, thread your braid through the back of the eye of the hook. It can be a bit fiddly. And then pull that hook down to your loop. And the next thing you need to do, pull your loop down. You know, again, whatever length you want to you do, depending on what bait you're using and just hold that tight in place a bit easier with these gloves off then you want to wrap around five or six times and hold that tight so you wrapped around the shank of the hook just wet the end and then go back through the eye of the hook and then pull that tight so then you're left with something that looks like that and the next thing I do and what I use is a kicker now a kicker is a very important uh, part of my hair rig all it does it helps kick the hook around hence the name just helps as soon as the fish picks up that bait the kicker will kick that hook around and in theory hook the fish these are not expensive to buy few pound. It can be a bit fiddly to thread through. So there's the kicker there. We'll pull that all the way down to your eye of your hook. You can get small, medium or large size kickers depending on the hooks that you're using. It's very important that you put these on the right way. It does say on the back of the kickers, whatever company you get them from. Just a little picture on the way around it needs to be. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is the way it should sit. And all it does is when the fish picks up the bait, it just kicks the hook around. 
and in theory hooks the fish straight in the top or the side of the mouth. So the next thing I use is a rig sinker. Again, I use the rig sinkers from Sharp Tackle. Now these come in small, medium or large and all they do is they just make sure your rig lays dead flat on the, the lake bed. I've got a medium one here. So they come like this and all you do to put these on is a loop there. So you thread your braid through your loop like so. Hold it down and then just slide them off. Slide it off like so. And then depending how far down you want it, I normally do it about two inches from the hook. So mine sits about there. And then that will sit dead flat on the lake bed. Then the last thing you want to do, the important part, is a, an overhand loop. This is for your knot to connect it to your to your rig, to your main line. This needs to be a, an important knot. This can take one of the falls. So I do a, an overhand loop. These are my knots. There's loads of knots out there, but I've never had any problems with my knots. Once again, you need to put some sliver on that. Get yourself your knot puller. He's like 199 from online, sharp tackle, or your local tackle shop. And just pull that really tight and make sure you're confident in that knot. Get yourself a decent pair of braid scissors if you haven't already. It does make a difference. Then cut that tag end off, like so. And then, as I said earlier, you can just burn that little tag end, blob it, gives you that extra bit of security. And that is basically my bottom rig that I use. So you've got your hair loop, I'll show you how to put the body on. You've got your kicker, and you've got your rig sinker. You can also add um, a sleeve. So when you connect this to your quick link or your main line, you've got a sleeve that goes over your your loop and then goes over your quick link. In fact I will show you just in case you don't know or never seen one before what they do look like. So tapered sleeves and I'll show you how to put these on as well. Get yourself your baiting needle. Put your baiting needle through your, your sleeve. Put that as my alarm there. Connect it up and just pull your sleeve down. So then that's the whole setup there. So you'll connect that to your quick link to your main line, your swivel, and then that will just sit over the swivel or your quick link, and it just gives it that protection. One, it doesn't come off, like a key ring, like a quick link is, and if you're playing a fish, that could come off, could get to the back of the key ring, and then ultimately, you, you're gonna lose your, your hair rig and your fish. And obviously the clue's in the name, quick link. If you've got the fish in the net, you wanna take unhook it out of the net so you ain't got to carry, roll up your net and bring your, your rod and your reel everything up to your cradle you just detach that and then you just bring in the fish with that in its mouth and a net to your cradle and then you can deal with it much easier while you're leaving your rod on your pod so that is how I make my bottom rig now to attach a boilie most of you probably know this but it's going to be the odd one or two who you know who's never done carp fishing Get your, get your, your um, boilie. Got me trusted alpha from Nature's Baits. Put your baiting needle through your boilie. This is an this is an 18 wheel boilie. So I've made my hair loop the correct size for this boilie. You pull it through. Then you're left with that. So now you need to get a boilie stop. 
I'm using the jelly ones from Sharp Tackle. You can, they're only like one pound, one ninety nine, no more than two pound from your local tackle shops. Thread that through your loop like so, and then just pull the loop through the boilie. Then that stops the boilie coming off. And there you go, guys. It's a basic bottom rig, one of the rigs that I use the most done me very well over the years so thank you for watching guys uh, any questions just leave me a comment I'll always reply thank you very much tight lines everyone I hope you bag some nice decent sized quality fish we're gonna have a cold winter so hopefully they'll be on the feed thanks again